And am I live? Am I live? I think so. Okay, I was scared to open this. Way. Oh, hey, MTV Cribs. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. This isn't the Epic Reads office. This is a corner of my living room. That, that plant's fake. Um, welcome everybody who is tuning in or everyone who will be tuning in at a later time. This is the Epic April book haul. Um, again, as you can tell, this isn't the Epic Reads office. I am working from home, doing my best to stay safe in quarantine and doing the best I can. I hope you're all staying safe as well, but the book haul must go on. Um, I have to look right there. Okay. Uh, I usually get like five or 12 takes to get these book summaries right. Um, and I got to do them all on the first track. So cut me some slack here, everybody. Hey, Jane, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, uh, so let's let's start talking about the books. But before we do that, uh, I will tell you guys the book that we are reading for the Epic Reads Book Club this month. And we had you all vote. The theme of the month was Book Nerds Night In, which felt fitting with everything going on. And the book we are reading is Eliza and Her Monsters. That's, that's backwards. Oh my God, are these all gonna be backwards? Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Um, so we're going to be reading Eliza and Her Monsters. Go over to the Epic Reads Facebook group if you want to join in and want to read a book, either Eliza or a book that fits the theme, and we can talk about it over there. And Eliza and Her Monsters is about a girl who runs a very popular webcomic series, um, but no one knows who or that she is, like, the person who runs it in real life. Um, oh, Jane informed me I'm not backwards. I'm seeing it backwards, but you guys are seeing it forwards. Awesome. So let's start off with the books we have coming out this month. And please, if you're watching, feel free to comment and I will try to answer if you have any questions. Hi, Amanda. Hey, Jane. Hey, Miss Salvatore. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the books. So the first book we have, you may recognize. It is on the... I just exposed that I am, in fact, using a ring light. It's On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. But this is the Specials Collector Edition, and it's a really, really cool metallic. And there's this little this little sticker on the front because Angie just announced that she is... Uh, her third book is coming out next year, and it is uh, set 17 years before The Hate You Give. It's called Concrete Rose, and it follows Maverick. And the first chapter of that upcoming book is in here, so extra special reason to pick up this amazing book. Um, and hi again, everybody else. Yeah, it is so shiny. Hi everybody for joining. This is kind of fun. I get to like, usually I'm just talking to myself um, or watching the people through the glass, looking me talk to myself, but there's like people that I can talk to. Um, the next book that I have here is Rules for Being a Girl by Candace Bushnell and Katie Kutugnow. And look at this amazing cover. Hey everybody. Oh wow, so many hives. Um, and so this follows the the difficulty and the intricacies and the double standards that women face in society and all of the rules that they have to face. And there are some throughout the book about like, always smile, don't be too aggressive, always be, be complacent. And <laughs> Tyler said, burn down the patriarchy. And so this follows a girl who at her high school, there's this really, this young hip teacher that's really, really cool. And he sort of tries to pu pu push their relationship further than too far. And she's not comfortable with it and she shuts it down and she tries to, and she gets the courage to say what happened, but he disagrees with her and people don't necessarily believe her. And so it's her story to have her truth told and to fight for her voice to be heard. And so it's a really, really powerful book. And look at that cover. See, this ring light is coming in handy. Um, any questions? Not yet, no, okay. Yes. Uh, the Rules for Being a Girl does have a really amazing trailer. So you can check that out on this YouTube channel. The next book I have here, we're gonna flip into fantasy. Um, and that is The Empire of Dreams by Ray Carson. And this is set in the world of The Girl of Fire and Thorns, but you don't have to have read The Girl of Fire and Thorns, that trilogy, to read this one. But if you have, you're going to make some connections. Um, and so this follows a girl whose real name is Red Sparklestone, and she is going to be adopted by the royal family, which is one of those connections you'll make if you read the original books. And then uh, the empress's rival actually blocks the adoption, and so she can no longer join the family. 
And so it's her story um, of trying to join the, the Royal Guard and trying to, to protect the people that she loves um, and she also learns some dangerous things that are happening. So, um, yeah, she's got, she's got a lot to do to protect, to protect her close ones. Um, the next thing I have here is write yourself a lantern. And this is from Elizabeth Acevedo and it's, uh, it's not actually a book. It's a journal with really, really stunning quote and inspirational quote graphics and also journal pages for you to write your own story. So definitely check this one out as well. And then we have Redemption Prep by Samuel Miller. And this is a really twisty mystery novel. It's set at this elite boarding school in the 90s. And it follows this girl who goes missing. And no one knows what's happened to her, but she has a perspective. And it's it's told through... Um, it's told through notes and uh, like notes that the characters write in journals and other things. And it follows her and her boyfriend and her roommate and some other characters. And they all sort of have these secrets that they need to keep that are revealed in the novel. It's very twisty and we find out what happened to her and you definitely have to keep reading till the end if you wanna know what happens here. It's very like Riverdale, Twin Peaks, definitely check it out. Okay, someone asked if you could see more pages in Write Yourself a Lantern. Yes, you can. Let me pull some open for you. Bum, bum, bum. Like a little prompt right here. So yeah, it is a really beautifully decorated journal for you all. Um, okay, so the next book I have is The Lightness of Hands by Jeff Garvin. And this is from the author of Symptoms of Being Human. And it follows a girl who has bipolar two and her dad has a heart condition. And he used to be a famous magician, but he he failed this really big trick that he was trying to pull off. And so they're living in an RV and they have a little bit of a tough situation and she needs money to afford her medication. And then she gets an offer from this popular magician duo to have her dad go out to Los Angeles and attempt this trick again on live TV. And she knows if she asks him, he's not gonna agree to it. So she takes them on a road trip and sort of tricks him into going along with it and whether whether he tries and whether he's able to pull it off and whether this works out for them, you guys are definitely going to have to read to find out. And then the next book I have is Goodbye From Nowhere by Sarah Zar. And this is from National Book Award winner, Sarah Zar, and um, it follows a boy who thinks his family's happy, but he, he finds out that his mom is having an affair and his dad knows, and he's asked to keep the secret to hold the family together. And keeping the secret sort of puts a, a weight on his chest that he can't handle, and he goes to his girlfriend and he quits baseball, and he, it comes down to him having to decide if keeping the secret is actually making things better, and who it's actually making things better for. So check it out to see how it, how it all ends for him and his family. Um, okay, sorry, just checking the comments quickly. The next book I have is Clickbait by Anne Vallet. Vallet, sorry. And this, uh, this is from Wattpad originally, and it follows this girl whose best friend, whose her life was ruined by the popular girls at their school. And so she vows to get back at the people who hurt her best friend. And so over the summer, she, she changes a bunch of things about herself and she goes back to school as this different person because she wants to get in with the popular crowd and then get back at them for what they did to her by like finding out all of their like deepest, darkest secrets and things they don't want people to know. But then she finds herself falling for uh, one of the people she wants to get revenge on. And so she has to figure out what she's gonna do there and definitely check it out. Okay. That was the first finger guns of this whole thing. I'm proud of myself. I have not overdone it. Um, and then the next book I have is Don't Call the Wolf by Alexandra Ross. And this book follows uh, two, two main characters predominantly. It follows uh, a girl who is raised in the wilderness and she's sort of the queen of the wilderness. And this boy whose whole family are soldiers, getting the ring light exposed again. This boy uh, whose whole family are soldiers who have to team up to try and take down this dragon who 17 years ago sort of took over the land and sort of rests, rests down on it. And 
will they be able to take him down? Because the brother has had uh, nine other brothers before him try and not succeed. And so it's their journey of if they're going to be able to, to take down the dragon. Epic fantasy. Oh no, don't fall. And then I have one last book to tell you guys about today. And that is The Easy Part of Impossible by Sarah Tomp. And this follows a girl who was on path for someone said girl Mowgli, maybe um, for the last book. This book follows a girl who was on path for uh, the Olympics in diving and she had, she has ADHD. And so it was always very hard for her to focus. And then she finds a coach or she joins with a coach who kept her on a very strict training schedule and gave her focus and like a path to go on. And then she messes up and the coach kind of sort of lets her go, drops her. And she's, doesn't know what to do now that she doesn't have like this this strict structure to her life and she meets uh she meets a friend who who's very just like as it is at face value and she's really refreshed by being with him and it sort of changes her whole perspective but then the coach gives her a second chance and she has to decide like what it is exactly that she she should do if she wants to go back to this the strict path she was on or if this new way that she's found to go about things is 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 what it is for her so that is that is the list of books here let me see if i can hold them all up without dropping or ruining everything one second everybody i dropped and ruined everything okay well here's some of them there's there's more than this um thank you everybody for tuning in. Oh, there's a question for me. Okay. What is your favorite genre and what are you currently reading? My favorite genre, uh, I have two favorite genres. One of them is is fantasy and the other one is books that make me cry uh, because I like books that really, really crush me. Um, and the book that I just finished reading is Blood and Honey, the sequel to Serpent and Dove, which is out this September and I can't say anything about. So um, and then I'm currently reading Imagine Me by Tad Amafi, which just came out yesterday. It is the sixth and final book in the Shatter Me series. Um, so yeah, I don't think there are any more questions at the moment. So thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. That was the epic April. Should I try to like get all these books in for one final shot at the end of the video? Okay, one more. I can do this. Here we go. All right, we're going to get them all in. Okay. Bam. This was <laughs> the epic April book haul. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you are all staying safe uh, at these difficult times. And I will see you guys next month. Whether it's from home, whether it's from the office, I don't know. But let's all wash our hands and read books. That's my plan for quarantine. Um, okay, thank you so much. Bye everybody and stream. End.